Saving your game from the mundane, the component proponent, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> this Belfort's a wonderful game. No two plays are quite ever the same. You're building a town for your employer, the crown, but then something happens, which is a shame. See, the game comes with five pieces of city. When fit together, oh, they look awfully pretty. But give them a nudge, and you'll be saying, oh, fudge. They move, which is really a pity. Then one day on an internet site, I found something that sounded all right. A chap was selling a frame specially designed for this game. Should I try it? I think that I might. Yes, in this frame I chose to invest. So I whipped out my American Express, and 16 bucks later they loaded a freighter, and when it arrived, I was ready to test. Now, the first thing of which to take note is its nice faux wood finish coat. Oh, you cannot diminish this durable finish. Chas Marler approves, quote and unquote. Yes, this frame is certainly purdy, but at the risk of getting all nerdy, more important is whether it all fits together in a way that is snug and real sturdy. So speaking to those specific regards, I attest that this frame's various shards they fit like a glove, which is something I love. There's even a place for the cards. Hmm. But to give a review that has traction, I'll state a dissatisfaction. I I've heard some who deplore that you can't pull apart when you score. But to me, that's a minor infraction. And now I shall give a sum up. From me, this frame receives a thumb up. I like it, of course, so I strongly endorse, proud of any business that this may drum up. If there's more info that you'd like to see, a link in the description there'll be. So I'll see you next time, but not likely in rhyme. Your component proponent, Chaz Marler, that's me. They say that speaking in verse can become a bit of a curse. To this, I agree. Stuck this way since past three. <laughs> Somebody get me a nurse.